everybody. We're at the show in Chicago. I'll tell you, this year's show is really packed. A lot more vendors, very crowded, but there's a lot of custom stuff and not really that much 20s, 30s vintage, but I do have something special to show you that my brother Johnny has. Check it out. It's a Duncan sock pedal from the 1920s. And it's really drawn a lot of looks from some of the big guys here at the show. You don't see too many of these. These are all works. So we talked to Mike Corrado. He thought it was pretty interesting. But mainly we talked to John Aldridge. And he's the one who could really authenticate what it was. So he said it's a Duncan sock pedal from the early 1920s. We're going to take a look around the whole place. So come on, let's have a look. Of course, the usual Bunny Carlos, Randy Rainwater booth. There's Bunny right now. We'll talk to him just a little bit later. He's wheeling and dealing. Let's head on down this way. Wow, we have someone interested in this <laughs> right now. Come this way. <laughs> Lewis. This is Tony Lewis. My name is Jim Messina from Southwest Florida. Oh, cool. Hi, how you doing? Hello, everybody. <laughs> we uh, we represent a group of collections down there. We have a yeah. little museum called the Southwest Florida Museum. Museum. This is an item that my brother found in Cleveland and delivered to me here in Chicago at the show. Okay. i got to go back to Florida with it, but it's a Duncan sock symbol. Kind of a, a version of the low boy hi hat, right. if you've heard of that. But oh, yeah, we a couple. Yeah, is that for sale? Actually, not yet. Oh, it's just being delivered to me <laughs> by my brother, like I said. He's but teasing it's, us. It's, I just want to tell the folks at Southwest Florida what we got here. Uh, we got the beautiful drums. We got a very extremely rare full dress Ludwig and Ludwig. Here. That's a full dress Ludwig and Ludwig. When was this done? Uh, this started in the mid forward, late early to mid forward. And that's original. All original. Wow, if that's original. Well, that's in fantastic yeah, shape. All original to the team. Now, what would something like that go for? For me, it's priced the same. Okay, are you, are you selling that or are you just selling it? Oh, for sure. Well, what's, the, what's the story behind that? Where did you find that? This drum came from Jackson, Michigan. Uh -huh. There's a gentleman who was a senior citizen that played in a Jackson banjo club. Okay. Um, he retired, and he found out that I had a drum collection. We had a drum collection, uh -huh. and he sold it to me. The thing is about it is this drum was made for him by an employee from Ludwig from the early 40s who presented it to him as a gift before he went to World War II. That's an extreme, yeah. extremely good shape. Take a look at this, John. This is very good. Look at that. Nothing's been redone. Nothing at all. All original. A lot of times these laminates will come off. I have a duplex with laminates like that. Okay. These are in fantastic shape. That's a, that's a real prize. Yeah. Very happy with very much. Good. DeSantis. Man, this he is sold me the Green Liberty, Sea Green Liberty. Here he is, one year later. That. And I got this to show to him. Oh, that was this worth coming to the show, buddy. Yeah. This is the Duncan Sox symbol. It's been authenticated by John Aldridge. Put in your will. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Yeah. Oh, hey, guys. Look at this. And we got the Manson hi hat. <laughs> Look at that. I got one. You want one. that for five bucks? I got one. <laughs> Ain't that weird? It's the same. I'm all yeah, 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 yeah. 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 like this. Tony DeSantis, everybody. Hey, you. He's still going strong. Yeah. He's yeah. 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 I got a bunch of these little barbels, stair stands and high hat stands on this. Uh-huh. That kind of stuff. I've never seen that. Before. Yeah. Well this They're is the pictures of it. It's in the uh, yeah, it's in the uh John Aldridge's book. And that's where he calls it a, a Duncan Sock pedal and I just like an over to And he well, cleaned up part of it. Now it's all the candidates on that. Everybody knows it. Yeah. 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 What's your name? I'm Freddy. Freddy! Here at the Chicago show. Why don't you come out and see him next year? Say hello to South Florida. West Florida. South West Florida. Right down the road. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
opener and the cute little dog. The Duncan Sock Pedal. It's a hit at the show. Yeah. But, uh, all I gotta do is fix the shit and get right down the wire. I can shoot the code hand and do that. But, uh, hey, Bob, he finds it. 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 I don't know, man. I never seen one of these uh, before. Everybody, welcome to the 2007 Chicago show. I think everybody should know me by now. Jim wants me to talk a little bit about the pedal. Um, I'll tell you basically what I know, which isn't a great deal, but enough to tell you that it's a Wahlberg and Auger pedal, spelled A-U-G-E. Not quite sure how that's pronounced, whether it's O-G or Org, but either way, it's a Wahlberg pedal. And we know that because of the footboard. <coughs> Wahlberg sent out basically blank pedals to every single company and every company then therefore stamped their own pedal on it. So Slingerland stamped it Slingerland, Ludwig and Ludwig stamped it Ludwig, etc, etc, etc. But essentially they were all basically Wahlberg pedals. But from what we can gather and look in the old Slingerland books, this is basically a Roy Duncan model. It was the only model that, that hinged from the top. All the other ones didn't hinge from the top every other position but the top so that's what leads us to believe that it is the raw Duncan model so you know you now know as much as I do <laughs> say that's Dave Brown now everybody remembers his big slingerland black beauty from last year what a show with that whole deal this year he and I have both had a kind of a difficult time finding stuff from our era but still the show is the show it's worth coming here Come on. 